everybody on back to Forza Horizon 4 with another um, racing build with a racetrack build challenge with this car. Now I'm gonna give you five seconds to guess which car this is. Guessed? Okay. Cause it is the new FXXK. This is a vehicle you're gonna be using for building the track. Um, hasn't been in the game since Forza Horizon 1, so good call bringing this one back in. And our location is a roundabout. We, only, we can only use, there's a section of roundabouts over here, which kind of spans this area. We're only allowed to use, I'm going the wrong way, but we're only allowed to use those roundabouts for our racing tracks. So we have to make it interesting enough. You can see them over there on the map. We gotta make them interesting enough to have some good racing in this area while still staying within these roundabouts. Very interesting challenge. I'm up for it. I hope we can get this to work or else I'll be a tad disappointed. Yeah. We're gonna have to have some non ra That's the reverse. We're going to have some non-roundabout racing just to get to the roundabout and back to the lap. Um, over here is our start point. In a really awkward place because I can't turn around where I want. So, FXXK, I will have to go, I guess we're going to say in manual. Um, which is going to be really annoying I don't have my track, Mac oh, my track map open, sorry. I'm kind of thinking along the lines of a, I, I think I'm going to go one area of off-roading, which is a very minor area. Yeah, you see, I can't go, I, I really, I really want to start over there, but I can't. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. Hang on. Can I go that way? I can! I can! I can go that way, I'm going that way, hang on. Yep, we're going this way. Okay, don't mind me. Just improvising, adapting, and overcoming. But we're bumping into stuff too. I'm gonna go down here and in. Oh, I should probably put some checkpoints down. Completely forgot about that aspect of it, you know? Kind of important. Put checkpoints down. I've not done this in a while, apparently. I was so caught up with that fact that I gotta go down here. And then I forgot to actually put stuff down here. To say that I can go down here. Yeah, good job, me. So we're gonna put a checkpoint nice and wide just in case the AIs are dumb. We're gonna continue straight away down here. High speed. We're not gonna be quite as nice. Checkpoint, just in case. Don't let them cut the corner. The brakes on the FX X, 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 uh, are very good. They are very good. The brakes, which I can't say. We're gonna go over here, I think. And then we're going to maybe, can I do a, no, okay. Never mind, we're not going to go that way. I was going to try and see if I can cut through the roundabout without going off-road, but that involves going off-road, and I don't really want to do that in a sports car race, unfortunately. I, I just don't want to. So we're going to go over here instead, go the long way around the bout. Ah, you see. There we go, nicely and easy. Again, try not to cut there. This car has a lot of grip, I'll give it that. Now we're gonna go, it's gonna get tricky. Cause the game does not like going back on itself and I want this game, this track to go back on itself. We're gonna do a full roundabout here. Maybe, if I can turn. Yes. Like European NASCAR. Tried that, actually worked pretty well. Um, I'm gonna go, hang on. Can I cut? Ooh. No, I can't. Okay. I'll, I'm guessing we're just gonna go straight. And I also wanna have lots of checkpoints over here because we are now officially cutting over the track, and I know from personal experience the game gets quite unhappy if you do that. So, yeah, lots of checkpoints. I don't know why I'm going that way. Uh, this is why you have the map open so you know which way to go. 
Because the none of the roundabout is over here, not over there. I'm an idiot. Let me put that there, put that over here, and there we go. We have got our roundabout all sorted out. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. Gonna be me probably on that section of the road. Now here's the off-roading section, which I didn't mention at the beginning. We're, we're so going now we want to cut over here on this little path-ish. It's a dirt path, but it's fine. And then we're going to cut in here. Give a nice wide berth, just in case the AI screw up. Put a checkpoint over here. Over here. This is going well. One more corner to go. Don't cut it, don't cut it, don't cut it. There you go. And we are across the line, pretty much. That's not a bad track. That's not a bad track at all. This should be a very quick race. I will concede. <laughs> Look at the blue TVR that Reese. I know offensive blue is your color, but you outdid yourself there, mate. I mean, look at that. That is, sorry. That is spectacularly blue. That is impressive. Oh, they just died. Okay. Good job, fellas. Alright, how fast can I carry on? Can I carry 100 miles an hour? No, but I can carry 80. Alright, I have a full 360. Can I go for the inside? Uh, yes, a little bit of rubbing is fine. Rubbing is okay. Oh dear, there's a crossover. Oh, there's been some very expensive crashing. Very expensive crashing. I'll get the run on the Ghani. That is brilliant. Nope, nope, nope. Second gear, second gear. Oh, that's very tight. I didn't realize how tight that was. That was surprising. I'm a nasty trap creator. I'm a nasty one indeed. And flat out towards the finish line. Okay. That's... That's not a bad track. Ow. That's not a bad track at all. I like that track. It's short. But simple. Alright, to test this race, we are using not touring cars, we are using GT cars, specifically Austin Martins, and a Ferrari, and a Mercedes AMG. But an Austin Martin Vantage. Brand spanking new. I absolutely love the look of it. I think it's one of the best looking cars in the world right now, and I will stand by that statement. Uh, we have six laps. This should be interesting. I'm expecting to win, I will be honest. Just because, you know, I built the track, the AIs don't like doing this. So, you know, I'm expecting to win, but you never know. You never know. I'm up the inside of the AMG. Yes, you and your stupid Nuremberg lap record. Which held for about five minutes. Ooh, we're closing in, we're closing in. Can I go for the inside? Yes, I can. Ow, that hurt. We made it, though. Yes, we're, we're two, three wide. And a little bit of wheel spin. Did I miss that? No, I didn't. We're good. <laughs> oh, we are three wide now, actually. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Excuse me, I sound a little bit sick. That was three wide with a Ferrari California, an AMG, and a... And a, uh, Vantage. That is a perfect... Thumbnail on that. Whoa, a little bit of a very big, massive slide, actually. Turn it, turn it, turn it. The AIs are actually having good racing on this one. How is that possible? Alright, I don't have very much speed. This is only low S class, actually. Like S22. Ow. Brakes leave a little bit to be desired, I will be honest. But then again, Austin Martins aren't really supposed to race, are they? They're kind of supposed to look cool. And, you know, be beautiful and be very good sounding. They're not really supposed to go fast. <laughs> <coughs> That's the joy of an Austin Martin. If you want to go fast, you can. If you don't want to, that's more than perfect. Even if I lose this race, I will say I have the best looking car here. So, really, I win. 
Come on, get out of my way! Get out of my way, out of my way, please, please, thank you. At least we're having good battles, that's the most important thing, and not even the position. Ugh. A little bit of size action from me and the Ferrari. I keep getting wheel spin out of that corner, it's very annoying. Alright, there we go, on the straightaway. Not quite as fast as the FXXK as you uh, would expect, even though they both have V12s. Can't figure out the braking point there particularly well, but we at least made it stop for the corner this time. We're halfway through the field and halfway through the race. Ugh, I braked too early there that time. Okay, heading into the roundabout section once more. Ugh. This is actually a really interesting test of the vehicles. Very interesting test of the vehicles. Oh, I'm so close to catching that Ferrari. Come on! Don't get crashed into, don't get crashed into. No, no, running wide, running wide, that's bad. Get out of my way, Ferrari. No! Ruin my momentum. Alright, now go on the inside. Inside, inside line. Cut the corner a bit. It's fine. Catch up to the AMG there. Don't get any wheel spin. There you go. Nicely done, Austin Martin. Give me that top five. <coughs> Give me that top five. Come on. Here we go. Break early. There we go. Turn in. Get the power down. Destroy a bunch of street furniture. Alright, maybe it shouldn't have shifted in a second, but we got around the corner, we didn't crash, so I'll take that as a win. Around the never-ending corner, heading in here, woo, AMG gets on the brakes for some reason, that, that section, I don't know why. Shifting down in a second, I'm in top five territory now, and it's Austin Barnes, three, four, and five. I don't know who's in first. Maybe it's a Mercedes, maybe it's a Ferrari. Uh, turn, come on, come on, yes, I have the inside line, you run wide, good sir. It's another Austin, it's an Austin Martin, ow, what? It's an Austin Martin, one, two, three, four, five, that is good to see. That is very good to see. We got two more laps to go, can I get a podium? Austin Martin seem to be the place to the car to be on here. No, no, I, I can't get a podium now <coughs> Damn it. No, I must defend the honor. I will not let the AMG I will not let the Germans get another podium to their never-ending roster of podiums Ow Come on I want to get fifth over the the blueish green Austin Martin vanquish up there. I think that's a vanquish without advantage. I think it's a vanquish. There we go. Look at that beautiful inside line. Absolutely stunning inside line. Almost as stunning as this car, actually. I must say, I really like the new Vantage. Haven't seen too many. I think I've seen one. But it is a gorgeous car. Ugh. Come on. I'm catching in the back of him. Big slide from the Austin Martin. One more lap to go. Can I get a third? I see a third right there. It is tantalizingly close. There we go. Got the corner good this time. I didn't hit much, much street furniture. We are catching up now. Yeah. Okay, kind of. That corner is decidedly tricky, even for me at full racing speed. Never running corner the last time around here. Can I get a good exit? Yes. Shifting down in the second. Around the ins on the inside. He's going around. He's going the long way around. He is holding it there, the DB11. But in the end, I will have more grip, and I am on the podium. Can I get past? The other two Austins. They're both old. And they both have V12s like me. But. I am brand new. 
There's second place. Can I go for the lead on this final lap? From the silver car. It's going to be close. Come on. No. No, he has more speed. No. So close. Across the line. I was One more lap when I had him. <coughs> Excuse me. One more lap. I would have had him. Yes. Austin Martin. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, it's a good day. <laughs> it's a very good day. And Vantage. One, two, three. Interestingly enough. Yeah. I'm pleased with that track. I, I really am. But that is going to be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 4. And I'll be back with more 